What is up guys, this is Buffalo Gaming here, back at it again with another Madden 18 video. And actually it is not another, because this is the first time I'm doing Madden 18 on this channel. Haven't done Madden in probably over a year and a half, which is actually pretty surprising because this is my, probably my favorite sport game to play. Used to be 2K, but that went down the shitter real fast. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're doing this uh, predictor challenge here, and this isn't really a main... This is just ultimate team basically and uh, ooh, look at that sack right there. That's a good sack I am a huge fan of Madden ultimate team. I played it in Madden 15 uh, Madden 16 I skipped Madden 17 last year Kinda so I didn't really get a chance to do that, but I'm back in Madden 18 and uh, I have a pretty good team so far and I, I have been only playing this for like two weeks I have a pretty good team and that's without spending stuff I've been just grinding through these solo challenges. I'm doing this predictor challenge, which is uh, basically you go against teams. This is the Packers. Uh, there's two challenges. One's the Steelers, one's the Packers. And if you win, you get uh, predictor uh, badges that you can use to pr uh, predict outcomes of life. And as you can see, Aaron Rodgers just burns the fuck out of me with that run. Playing no defense there. I got a lethal offense, you'll see. But anyway, you get these predictor... Uh, tokens basically true false tokens and you get to predict the regular um season of this week i'm pretty sure it's week 11 right now of uh, what the outcomes are going to be for example like who's going to win the uh, bills chiefs game uh obviously since i'm a bills fan i'll say the bills even though i know the chiefs are probably going to blow us out unfortunately but uh, yeah you can see and also i have a crap ton of bills players on this team because i'm doing the chemistry challenges so that's why I have a shit ton of bills. I have uh, Tyrod Taylor, 80 overall team leaders edition, Mike Tolbert, chemistry. Uh, I have a uh, Charles Clay right there. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of bills players, especially on defense. The whole defensive line is bills. And I uh, even have Tredavious White. But as you can see, I'm trying out Mike Tolbert running back. I know he's a fullback, but he plays running back for the bills. Uh, he doesn't really go fullback. So yeah, we're going to see. T-Mobile going to try to get something here. He's going to run. And uh, he runs. One minute and three seconds left in the fourth quarter. And uh, can we do something here? It's 28 to 23. Packers lead. And my O-line basically is all Bills too. I have like Eric Wood, Cordy Glenn Elite. So that's pretty good. I have a Kyle Williams Elite. Tyler Taylor's going to bomb this out to Julio Jones, I believe. And uh, no. That's not going to work out at all. But let's zoom in on this thing here. And uh, here we go. Tyrod Taylor going back to pass. And he's going to fire it there to Charles Clay. The weak edition. I believe it's an 84 overall Charles Clay, if I'm not mistaken. I also have an 84 overall Harvest Michael Irvin. So yeah, it's not a it's not an amazing lineup that you'd see in like a professional Madden YouTuber. But uh, cause I don't spend money on this game, cause why would you do that? You just grind solo challenges, and uh, it makes it fun because then you'll get the players you want by working hard, not just spending money on it. And that's how I roll. Um, I'm trying to get released new Blitz players, like a Blitz program, and they have an 89 overall Tyrod Taylor. Now you already know. I'm gonna grind for that 89 overall Tyrod Taylor, but first look at that pass for Tyrod Taylor to Michael Irvin And as you can see we're basically gonna win it here. I go to player lock for Shaq Lawson, but I pick it off The pressure was just too much and that was a pretty easy challenge right there despite my pretty shitty defense against Aaron Rodgers So we're gonna go to the Pittsburgh Steelers game right now. This is the last game of the predictor challenge 21-17 and as you can see T-Mobile gonna run and, uh, yeah, he gets some pretty big yardage there. Rush, 21-yard rush to make it first down on our 41-yard uh, line. So, yeah, that will basically help us tremendously. We got a uh, pretty good offense here facing Pittsburgh Steelers to get the second predictor challenge so I can unlock all the predictor tokens for this week. Tyra Taylor is going to try to rush. I didn't know what I was going to do there. No one was really open, so I just ran for a few yards to make it second. And, and here we go. Tyrod Taylor going to try to 
do something here. He's going to drop back the pass. And he's going to scramble once again. And you already know I got to run with T-Mobile again. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to basically uh, get more yards here so I can set up maybe a touchdown. Just try to get run off the clock, too. But I went out of bounds there, unfortunately. But I passed it off quickly to Julio Jones, I believe. Yep, that's Julio Jones. And uh, that's a first down right there. One minute and 27 seconds left on the clock. We're trying to do no huddle here. And uh, here we go. Tyrod Taylor drop back in the pass. And he drops that. Julio Jones, after making a great catch, he just goes out there and drops. It would be first down right there. So now it's second and 10 in the shotgun. And look at this. Are we going to run it here? Yeah, Big Mike Tolbert's going to run it. And he's going to shed a block. He's going to shed another tackle. And look at that. Third and five. Not a not a uh, amazing run, but good job shedding off blockers there. But now we got to convert on this play action pass. Tyrod Taylor's going to fire it over the middle to Charles Clay. He's a great tight end to use in Madden Ultimate. And highly recommend. He's a good budget tight end if you ask me. If you need a tight end, definitely go with the team of the week, Charles Clay. And that's a pretty biased pick, too, because I'm a Bills fan. Anyway, drop back to pass. Tyrod Taylor going to fire it to Mike Tolbert. Mike Tolbert doesn't get a lot of yards there. Maybe a few yards, but the clock keeps on ticking. That's what we're trying to do. That's the goal there. 34 seconds left in the game. Tyrod Taylor going back to pass. And he's going to scramble. And Tyrod Taylor, can he go it? Look at that. Touchdown, T-Mobile. And he's going to do... Celebrate, that's the team leader edition. 80 overall, Tyrod Taylor scramble. And uh, we're trying to go, we're gonna try to go for two points so they have to get a touchdown here. So here we go, Tyrod Taylor is gonna drop back into coverage. And he's gonna fire it to Charles. And this game looks, looks to be over here. Ben Roethlisberger is gonna need to, uh, gonna need to do something in order to, uh, Put us away but if my defense with my defensive play so far it looks like he could possibly do that 24 seconds left the kick returner is going to return it to about the 28 yard line and uh yeah they're gonna have to do some shit here cover two man that's what we're gonna look for here ben roethlisberger yeah it seems like it's about to be over. Ben Roethlisberger is going to fire over the middle. But look at this. I whiff on a tackle. And all of a sudden. Yep. Just like that. The Steelers come back. And get a touchdown. But I mean. Yeah. You already know. That is not good. 28 to 25. We're really going to need to pull something out of here. It it does not look good so far. So we're obviously going to need to do something here. But you already know, I got T-Mobile. Nothing is impossible when your boy Buffalo Gaming's got the controller on offense. Let's see how we do it.